Welcome back, everyone. It is Valentine's Day. Love is in the air, certainly. But did you know that love is more than just a feeling and an emotion? It can actually affect your physical health as well. Dr. Dominic Lucia, the chief medical officer at Baylor Scott and White in Temple, joins us this evening to explain why. Doctor, thank you for being here on this Valentine's Day. So let's talk about love. Let's start right off the bat. What are some of the ways that love actually affects our individual health? Yeah, hi, Chris. Happy Valentine's Day to you and the team. So it is interesting, the data out there that love and positive relationships can really have a profound effect on your long term health. And that includes some things we may not think of, like lower blood pressure, certainly decreased anxiety, decreased depression, stabilization of our hormones and even helping our immune system fight off diseases. Makes sense. Okay, so we're healthier. It's a state of being and a state of mind. Now, for children, how can strong relationships in childhood help lead to a healthier life as an adult? We see those same concepts reflected in kids as well. That strong, supportive, stable family, that strong, supportive, stable peer group can really set these kids up for success in life. Not only does it help them decrease anxiety, depression, it can give them a strong sense of self-esteem. It can give them a strong sense of coping, conflict resolution, and then finally the immune benefits that we talked about earlier. You start that when you're a kid, that hopefully can lead to a much longer, happier life. Okay, now this next topic, I'm anxious to get your thoughts on here. Of course, a physically broken heart would be one that doesn't work properly, but from ancient Greeks to Jesus to Shakespeare, we've talked about living with a broken heart. I mean, can you talk a little bit about what that would mean for someone? Yeah, that's interesting because that's an actual real thing. We call that a stress cardiomyopathy or Takasubo syndrome, which is broken heart syndrome. And what that is, is someone experiences an acute, often surprising moment of grief, of fear, of extreme anger. And what they think is that the hormones that are released affect the heart in such a negative way that it actually overwhelms it. So they appear to be maybe even having a heart attack, oftentimes chest pain, shortness of breath. So people present with this, it's a real thing. The good news, Chris, is that after they're examined after they're oftentimes watched within days to weeks, all the symptoms resolve. But it's a real thing, broken heart syndrome. Incredible. It really is a human condition. That is really neat. Okay, now love doesn't always mean romance. What are some non-romance examples that might have the same perhaps healthy outcomes? Yeah, a lot of these benefits don't necessarily have to come with finding your soulmate. When we think about things that can make us healthier long term, we think about things like hobbies, we think about consistent exercise, we think about you know, getting into our community, helping others, set, setting and accomplishing goals, volunteering, doing things that are selfless like donating blood. All those things have had correlations in the literature with increasing your longevity, increasing your happiness, and certainly increasing your health. And giving people a real sense of purpose. I love your answers today. Dr. Dominic Lucia, thank you so much for being with us on Valentine's Day. We always love having you on the show. I hope I'm not getting too sappy here. We appreciate you. We'll talk to you again real soon. Thanks so much.